What's up, guys? Tech Tony here. Now, I'm going to go over the auto apply recommendations in this video. And you may have heard that there's a new style of auto recommendations that Google has as well integrated that is hidden secretively somewhere else. And some of you may have woken up here and there and found out that Google changed stuff. They automatically added like 441 keywords. One of my buddies saw. Uh, over 400 keywords added to an account that were completely useless, at least they weren't broad match. And here's the best part. These auto recommendations cannot be removed. So, you know, if you go to your change history here on Google, on your Google ads, this is my personal dashboard for my company. You can go in here and sometimes remove these or undo, correct? Well, these ones won't let you. You cannot undo them. I don't have an example of that because all mine are turned off because it is junk. There is never ever a good reason to let Google auto apply any form of recommendations to your ad. Everything needs to be manually reviewed and applied as needed. Be friends with the Google algorithm. Now, you're not smarter than the algorithm, but you should be friends with it and work along with it. In this instance, it's not really a good idea. And it's that weird tango dance that you got to work with Google because the algorithm is good, it's smart, and it does some great things, but at the same time, it can do some pretty stupid things. And like these 400 keywords were like completely unrelevant to the my buddy's ads and campaigns. And it just he had to spend time removing these 400 keywords that just magically appeared overnight. And you can't remove them. You can't undo the action. Google, Google is like that. So two forms of audit recommendations that you pay attention to and should be on your to checklist, on your to-do list, when you are building a client's campaign or if you're auditing an account. And if you don't have this and someone's running your ads, you need to fire them because you just wasted tons of money out the damn window. All right, so go to your account. And you might end up on a page like this. And then go ahead and make sure you're on all campaigns. Go to settings. Go to account settings. And right here, you're gonna see something that says add suggestions. Click there. And if you see this checked, you need to check don't automatically apply add suggestions. Like I said, you don't want to. You don't mind the suggestions, but you want to manually review them, look them over, and see what needs to apply be applied or not. And this could be like all of a sudden your ten dollar a day budget ad all of a sudden shoots up to sixty, hundred, two hundred dollars. I've seen that happen. You need to be careful with these. And then right here, Google would be like, oh, why not? Uh, give it, if you want to, give it a reason. It doesn't really matter. All right, let me show you where the second one is. <coughs> All right, so where you want to go, check this out. Check this out. So <coughs> check this out if you haven't seen this yet. Now i got to hide some stuff and whatnot. But nothing here is important. But the concept is still the same. You see this long URL right here? Link in the bio to this URL because uh, shout out to another marketer buddy of mine that discovered this and he just copied and pasted like 911 and he handled this stuff. So I'm not too sure how to find it from Google search, but here's this URL. Click on it and so right here on this bar, it's going to give you all your accounts and sensitive information, correct? And then all this is what you're going to look at, go in account by account by account, but for example, what you might see is something like this. This account here is activated. You do not want that. Per so go through all your accounts and find everything that's activated. Click here, deactivate, and hit submit. And that's it. Now Google is, isn't going to go AWOL with your account and you're not going to wake up one day. Because look at the stuff it can do. If you click on the, on the activate, um, if I turn this back on, look at every, like Google can just do your job for you and you don't want that. Like you might as well just be running a smart ad, which is just as useless. And you're over here, you know, oh yeah, this looks amazing. Look at everything Google. Yay. Give it all these permissions and, and whatnot. I believe it'll also give permission to a Google rep to auto log into your account and they can apply recommendations without you. You know, because normally these guys will call you and they'll talk you through. It's pretty useless. I never talk to these Google reps. Um, only reason I talk to them is if I have a disapproval that needs to be manually approved type of situation. 
And you go in here and just like clicking stuff and yada yada yada. Yay, this is great. And then update recommendations. And are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. And then it starts just doing shit. You don't want that. Click and deactivate. And that solves that problem for you. Questions or concerns? Link to me in the bios. Hope this helps. Make sure this is applied. Check your stuff out. This is also a good way to know if, you're, if your marketer that you're working with actually knows what the hell they're doing and they're up to date on trends. Because this is a big one and this is really important and it needs to be addressed immediately. Remember, work with Google, but don't give it all the permissions in the world. Take care. Have a great day.